Hey guys, James here from Vitality Chiropractic Australia. Hope you're doing well today. Um, last night I had a, a case of a young man um, who's approximately 20 years of age and he presented with uh, lower leg pain, so pain below the knee um, between the ankle joint. Um, he reported that he's recently um, increased his exercise load, so he's doing a lot more running. Um, he's training for a, a specific event, which is coming up in a few months. So, as we do with all our clients, we performed a, a comprehensive assessment, um, performed various orthopedic tests to, um, to come up with an appropriate diagnosis. And our diagnosis for this young man was uh, he was suffering from shin splints. Uh, so I wanted to do this video today to sort of touch on shin splints and give you a bit of background information about what it is and, and how, how we treat it. So shin splints uh, essentially is a, uh, an overuse or a, a micro trauma to the muscles of the lower leg. Um, it may cause um, tearing of those muscles or um, an excessive spasm or tightness within them which creates dysfunction and pain. Now you may notice um, your lower leg is tender to touch, it may feel that your lower leg is quite firm or hard, um, and, and, and exercise or, or general activities such as walking or running usually bring on the pain, and you may notice pain following activity as well, which persists for uh, a various period of time. So that's a bit of background information about it. Um, in terms of treating shin splints, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the first thing what we want to do is um, unfortunately, we need to get you resting from the activities which you're doing. So we need you to uh, take some time off, which is going to help us heal it. Um, in terms of hands-on therapy, things like massage, uh, dry needling, um, acupuncture, heat or ice application, um, changing your footwear may also be appropriate, um, consulting with a, a biomechanics coach um, to assess your biomechanics, whether it's um, perhaps you have some issues with your running technique or, or your walking technique. Um, there's some, some strategies which can go a long way to reducing um, future incidents of uh, shin splints and also managing in the short term. So um, certainly consulting with a chiropractor or physiotherapist or massage therapist is a really good idea. Um, it's important that um, when we assess you also, I just want to make a note that we want to differentiate between other conditions which can potentially mimic shin splints. So a condition uh, which we've, we've discussed previously is called compartment syndrome. I'd encourage you to go back and watch that video because some of the symptoms between shin splints and compartment syndrome can present um, quite similar. Um, so we want to certainly differentiate between those two conditions, therefore we can direct your treatment um, appropriately. Um, now if you'd like any other information about shin splints or would like to speak to a practitioner, feel free to call us. Our phone number is 1300-003-777. Alternatively, appointments can be scheduled online via our website. Um, have a great day.